Greetings and welcome back to edtechmoment.com, where we take just a moment to show you how to integrate technology into your classroom. This is episode 19 and today we're going to take a closer look at building your own present. So we start here with our blank canvas and it says double click to add text. So um, the first thing that you probably want to add is whatever your main topic is. And then you can choose from three different built-in styles there and then click OK. Also, we can choose from some different alignment, so left, right, and center alignment, bulleted lists, increasing and decreasing indentation, and also changing text color. So let me select this, and then I'll choose a gray color for my main topic, and then click OK. Okay, so now I have my main topic entered into the canvas. I can click and move this around anywhere I want. If I click on it, Again, now I get my zebra, so I can move it around using the hand tool. I can use the plus and minus to make it bigger or smaller. And I like this because now I can arrange things based on how important they are. If it's very important, I can make it very big. If it's a sub point, I can make it smaller. I can also uh, change the size of objects in my Prezi by clicking in this shaded blue area within the zebra. So now I can just click and drag. It's much easier than hitting the uh, plus and minus buttons. So I'm going to size that up. That's my main topic. I need that to be nice and big. Okay. If I click anywhere in this dashed or in this striped outside ring, then I can take it and rotate it. And it's fun to kind of maybe have your Prezi off center a little bit. So let me set that off a little bit and move it down a little bit. And now I've got my main topic set. Okay. There's also two more tools I have here in the zebra. If I want to trash it, I hit the trash can. And if I want to edit it, then I can hit the editing tool and it brings me back up to my editor. Okay, so now I've got my main topic. If I want to add any additional text, all I need to do is double click and it allows me to take a box to get some more text in there. Okay, so that's how I can add text. So I could add a subtopic one and give that a different style and click OK. And now I've got my subtopic there. And again, I can move it around, click on it to get my zebra scale it to the place I want it, rotate it if I need it. Okay, and now I've got my main topic and my subtopic. And it's very clear when I'm looking at the big picture here that one is the main topic, one is the subtopic because of the way that they are laid out, because of the size, and because of the way that they're laid out in um, context to each other. Let's take a look over here up at the left side. If I click on the insert button here, it spins around and now it shows me all the different things I can insert. Okay, so if I wanted to add uh, a shape, arrows are very useful shapes to add into things. Okay, so there I've got my arrow. Again, if I click on it, I get my zebra and I can scale it around. Lots of fun things like that. Okay, go back to my insert tool, shapes, images, PowerPoints, lots of fun things that you can insert. I can select files off my computer or I can search the internet. So I'm going to find uh, a picture of Einstein. Okay, so there's my picture of Einstein that's been inserted. So I can scale it down, move it where I want it, rotate it around. Okay, and now I've got my picture in there. Again, there are a lot of different things, YouTube videos. Okay, here I've got a YouTube video all queued up. This is the uh, Bill's last episode on web browser shortcuts. So I'm just going to take that, copy the address there, and then head back to my Prezi. I'm going to click add a YouTube, paste the link in. It's very, very simple to do this. And now I've got my video. The same rules apply. I can rotate it. I can scale it. I can place it anywhere I want it. So let me just put that under my subtopic here. And scale it down to fit a little bit better. Okay, now I've got my video in place. Lots of different things I can add in as well. Files. YouTube videos, PowerPoint, so explore that insert tool. Thanks for watching EdTech Moment. Be sure to visit our website at edtechmoment.com. Subscribe to our YouTube channel or iTunes feed to be automatically updated when new episodes are available. This podcast is now brought to you by audible.com. Get a free audiobook download at audibletrial.com slash edtechmoment. Email your questions or feedback to feedback at edtechmoment.com. Remember, Bill and I are working to put together Q&A shows to answer your questions, so send those questions in, feedback at edtechmoment.com, or tweet your questions to us at edtechmoment. Thanks for taking a moment.